Hi there, I'm Lydia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the mask that I wear when I work with resin. This is the number one question I get asked on my channel in the comments. What mask are you wearing? Are you wearing a mask? Is it a respirator? All these things. So I wanted to show you the one that I'm currently wearing. Uh, the company that makes this mask actually reached out to me and asked me if they could send me a mask to show you guys. And I was like, sure, but first I need to actually try it out and see if I like it. Um, the one that I've had previously is a half mask. I've never had a full mask. And so this was an upgrade for me. Um, and I've been wearing it for about a month now and I can confidently Definitely say that I love this thing but I want to take you through um, some of the features of it and a quick unboxing first and then um, we can talk about the pros and cons towards the end when parcel contacted me I, I told them what I would be using the mask for and they recommended this mask the PD 101 and so I I'm really happy with the fact that it is a full face mask and that it came with the cartridges that are super easy to find uh, it's really compatible with a lot of other companies as well. So you won't have a hard time finding these cartridges. On the cartridges, it tells you exactly what these filters uh, filter out, which I really like that. I like being able to see like what fumes or chemicals or what have you are filtered by these filters. Um, once you attach the, the cartridges, you're ready to go. You just peel the film off of the, the screen of the mask and that's it. All right, so I wanted to show you what the mask looks like on um, and just share some of my takeaways. So as you can see here, it is ready to go. I have the filters on. Um, and the straps are completely open. You can take the strap out of this little loop and put it back on that way if you prefer. I prefer to just slip it over my head and then tighten the straps because if you look right here, it's just a quick and easy pull. You know what I mean? So. Once you put it on like it's pretty easy to tighten it. You just pull the tabs and that's it. Like you just pull the tab and that's all you have to do. You don't have to secure anything. It like automatically secures itself when you pull the tabs outwards. As you breathe in, you're breathing through these filters and as you breathe out, you're breathing through the valve like at the chin area. And it's, it's not like it's the easiest thing in the world to breathe through. It is a mask, but it's protection, you know? What I really love about this mask is it does not fog up. So I have been trying, I've been trying to get it foggy for a while. The outside will fog, but the inside will not. So you can see right there, let me turn off my fan. You can see when I blow breath right there, you can see that it's foggy, right? But if I do the same thing from the inside, there's no fog. So, put it like this. It does not fog up, which I absolutely love. When you're breathing out of this, I mean, it's a mask. So what you have to remember is it's not going to be as easy as breathing without a mask. It's going to be harder because of these valves, because of the, the um, filter. But at the same time, it's better than breathing in all the chemicals that come with resin work. And so I also love the shape of the mask and the fact that I can see um, on the sides. So... The peripheral view is really clear because of the shape of the mask. It's not like squared off, it's more round. And so you can really see to your right and your left, which I personally like. Um, I've had half masks before. That's what I usually have worn. I've always wanted a full mask, but I always just wore half masks is what I had. And then you have to wear eye protective wear as well. But with this, it's just one piece and it pops on and pops off so easy. Um, it's just, yeah. There are some things that I don't like about it. So 
right here, this sits on the bridge of your nose right here. And so if you wear it for a long time, you'll have an indent right here. The other night I was wearing it probably for an hour and a half. And when I took it off, it had this very prominent red mark here because of how this sticks out. Sorry, I'm trying to help you see it. But it's like a sharp, not sharp, but it, it's, it protrudes out instead of laying flat on your nose. It, it pokes into the bridge of your nose. So depending on what your nose bridge is like, you're gonna feel that poking at you right there. Um, it's, it's a bittersweet thing because I like the fact that I know it's secure. When I feel it pressing on my face, I know that this is secure. It's created a nice tight seal. I can't smell any resin whatsoever when I'm wearing this mask, but I wish that this part were not as, just didn't dig into the bridge of my nose as bad. I might actually modify that on my own um, because you still have the, the seal right here. So this I might modify on my own um, and that's that. I do enjoy the fact that it's adjustable and like snap on, snap off. Like I wear braids a lot. Um, sometimes they're thicker than this and I don't have a problem fitting this on my head, um, which is really good. So as far as another con, um, I don't like the, sm if you wanna call it a con, cause I don't really think it's that big of a con. When you receive this mask, just take it out of the box and out of the plastic bag that it's in. I mean, it's factory made, obviously. It's made of man-made materials. You're gonna have a chemical smell in here. Air it out for a few days before you wear it or you're gonna be inhaling that scent. Um, if you even wanna call that a con, I think that's just like normal life, you know, when you're dealing with products like this. Take it out of the box, take it out of the bag, let it air out for a few days or else you're gonna be breathing that in. Um, and if you even wanna call it a con, it's the fact that, like I said earlier, you're wearing a mask. So it's not going to be super, super easy to breathe in. Um, but I also didn't feel like it was preventing me from breathing well. Um, it just takes some, you know, adjusting to because it is a mask. But then again, after the year that we've had, we're kind of used to wearing masks by now, right? But um, overall, I love this mask. It's It checks all the boxes for me. It's what I'm wearing every time I work with resin now. And so I highly recommend this. Aside from the nose bridge issue, out of 10, I would say it's, it's a nine and a half, honestly, because it's doing the job it's supposed to do. These are gonna be easy to replace. Um, it protects your full face and it's easily adjustable. It's easy to put on and easy to take off. What more can I ask for? So that's it. Let me know if there's other masks that you guys prefer or anything else you wanna know about this mask. I'll answer comments and let you know like if there's something that you have specifically that I didn't answer in this video. So that's it. If you like this video, give me a like and a subscribe and stay tuned for more videos whether it's resining or cricket stuff, silhouette, glow forge, I have all kinds of content always coming out. So make sure to subscribe and check it out. Thanks for watching. Bye.